Hello YouTubers and welcome aboard, I am Noob Flyboy X, and welcome back to F1 2018 Career Mode. It is the Monaco Grand Prix this time, round 6 of Season 2, and we're on board right away in qualifying. Coming through the final couple corners here, we're going to set our first lap time here. Kimi Raikkonen's 111.9 is the time to beat at the moment. Across the line we go, and we are 0.9 seconds down on that time. Not great, but it's only the uh, first lap we do. Coming through on our next lap to try to improve that time. Let's see, we're up by about two tenths, and there we go, we improved to seventh. So that's looking pretty good. With that, here we are at the end of uh, qualifying one, and we've come through in twelfth position, which is pretty darn good. That'll get us through pretty nicely. Stroll, unfortunately, is out in Q1. He's got a five-second or five-place penalty, as does Max Verstappen for some reason. I think they must have changed out a gearbox or something. Some engine component or other. Here we are in um, Q2. Coming through here, we're doing pretty well on our previous time. But that uh, even that improvement doesn't help us much. We move on toward the end of the session there, looking to improve again. We improve by two tenths, and we're up to 13th. But that is as high as we will get. So we will be done in Q2, in 13th. proper road race and in the true meaning of the word that was how mr monaco the late great graham hell once described this iconic event the cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century but still we race on those same public roads beside the mediterranean sea there's no victory more coveted than that of the monaco grand prix we're almost ready to go then. This is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, and Hulkenberg, Sainz, Perez, Leclerc, and Kevin Magnussen, Van Dorn, Ocon, Roman Grosjean, and Raikkonen, Ericsson, Hartley, Iceman. They've taken the grid penalty, and Max Verstappen. And Pierre Gasly rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. No heroics into Sandoval, please. We're in amongst the pack and just need to stay in one piece. Yes, Jeff, we all know how you feel about heroics into Sandovot. Anyway, I'm trying to do something a little clever, hopefully, with the strategy and having a very long first stint. Trying the same thing we did last time, but hoping it'll work better this time. As we go to five red lights, and away we go for the Monaco Grand Prix. It's off the line relatively slow, and Max Verstappen, who started alongside us, gets away pretty well. Other people had some penalties, I think, so there he is up next to us. Into the Sandovat, though, and we've got him. We've got him behind us as we are able to accelerate up the hill a bit better. Kimi Raikkonen just in front of us in the Ferrari. Hopefully he is going to be a little slow. I know the cars are bunch up here. They like to bunch up as we head into the following corners here. Maybe I'll be able to dive him. And yep, there we go. I think about the move on Ericsson as well. Even as Raikkonen squeezes me a little bit toward the barriers. And now we're into the car park of the Hotel Hairpin. Going through there pretty slowly, of course but we're still right behind Marcus Ericsson, looking to get on with the first lap here. And uh, once we complete this, we will head on to the other couple laps of the race and see if we can put our strategy to work. But we've got to finish this first lap first and see if we can avoid damaging anything on the car. I'd like to not let Ericsson get away, but it looks like he's got more pace in that Sauber. There is uh, something to be said for having a lot of downforce on this circuit. There's not a whole lot of straightaways where having low downforce will help you very much, so putting on high downforce for this track is usually not a terrible idea. I can't remember what setup I had. I think it's sort of a, a medium downforce setup. In any case, here we come to complete our first lap across the line, and we'll look to get on with the race from here as we head back up the hill once more. It's a grueling 39 laps of this race, and we've got 38 of them to go. Here we go. Let's see if we can make this work. It's pretty quiet up until lap six when we can start to see the strategy coming into play. When some others who have uh, started the race ahead of us and on soft tires, softer tires I should say, are making their first pit stop. There's one of the Ferraris in, I think, Hulkenberg, one of the McLarens or something. And uh, we, having passed them, are up to 11th. So that's pretty good. On the next lap, lap seven, we move up a little ways further up to 8th position, so 
We are already into the points pretty well. Doing pretty darn good here. But we'll just have to see if we can make this stick. Max Verstappen has been harrying me the whole way through this Grand Prix so far. He will not get off the back of me. Lewis Hamilton is just out of the pits there. We come out almost wheel to wheel with him. Little bump with the wall, but we've got him covered as we begin lap nine. And he's slotted in between to us and Max Verstappen. So we have uh, you know more cars piling in behind us. This is exactly what I want from the strategy. On lap 11, as we head through the swimming pool section, I just glanced it in the uh, little map behind us that someone has, uh, looks like they've retired from the race. There were yellow flags for a moment there. That usually only happens if someone's retiring, though it happens for punctures now and then. But in this case, I can just start to see now there's a Ferrari going very slowly through the swimming pool section. That will turn out to be Kimi Raikkonen, who is out of the race, unfortunately for him. And unfortunately for Ferrari, who's looking to get on after Red Bull and the constructors. So losing a car will not be helpful to them. On lap 12, I make a mistake into the hairpin and run very wide. Some other cars bunch up behind me for some reason. The yellow flag means that their AI won't let each other pass. And as we can see there on the map, there's a huge cluster of them. Very slow moving. They're not really inclined to get off of the corner there, and I don't know why. There's nothing really prohibiting them from continuing on, even if they're not allowed to pass. It's so bad that on the next lap, lap 13, as we head into that same location, there's still a bunch of cars bunched up here. Daniel Ricciardo and Marcus Erickson and the Sauber among them. And technically, I probably should have been penalized for overtaking, but they just refused to move off that corner, so I felt no need to, you know, actually let them keep on. So we end up in fifth position behind Esteban Alcon in the Force India. Alcon will pit, as will um, Roman Grosjean, and we get past Stoffel van Dorn there on lap 18. Place going by quick. Trust me, it wasn't going by this quick actually doing the driving. This is a hard track, as I've uh, said before. Magnussen will be out of the pits, or in the pits, and then we come ahead of him on lap 19. He will be out behind us and behind Hamilton and Van Dorn and a couple others who have we have collected behind us. On lap 21, it's finally time for our pit stop, getting off the uh, worn uh, red stripe tires, the super softs. Going on to the Purple Ultra Softs here, because we've gone more than halfway. Purple Ultra Softs will more than get us to the end of the race from here. So we relinquish our position. We were leading the race there for a couple laps. But where will we come out? Looks like it's going to be in 10th position, so I can already see my strategy working. We're in the final points paying position, even before some of the racers who have uh, inherited the lead from us, like Lewis Hamilton, have made their second pit stop, because I know they have to make a second having started on hyper soft tires. So, I'm pretty sure I've got a good points finish uh, coming my way. I just need to continue uh, being consistent and not wrecking a car. It's a pretty quiet middle section, or middle to the end section of the race here. On lap 23, we can see there is absolutely no one in front of us for a little while, and no one behind us for quite a ways either as we head through the swimming pool section there. A little bit slippery, but we've held it together without any damage. This again is making me think that one of the difficulty uh, increases I should do is upping the damage to something a little bit more realistic, because you can throw these cars around as they are pretty effectively and not uh, really end up damaging them too much. On lap 25, it looks like Pierre Gasly is out of the race. He's pulled over there just before the Grand Hotel section. So we've lost another car from the race. That's two, I believe. It's a far cry from last season where we actually didn't lose anyone from the Monaco Grand Prix. It's rare enough not to lose any cars from a Formula One race, but at Monaco, it's unheard of. After some more pit stops on lap 26, we've come up to seventh position. That's looking pretty good. On lap 29, we can see the chain of cars just in front of us. I slowly am reeling them in a little bit, I think, but I can't really get uh, close enough to them to think about trying to make a move or anything. I'm hoping I can catch up to the back of the train, just, you know, for the sake of having pace. But they are actually very slowly, you know, I don't think actually getting away, but they're managing to keep the gap very wide between us. I believe it's Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo, uh, the championship leaders at the moment who are bringing up the rear of that chain. From here, it is just a matter of, you know, closing the laps down. On lap 33, lap 34, even as we try to look behind us and make a bit of a mistake, scrape the wall, lose a bit of paint, probably some sponsor has been ripped off the side of our car. 
But that's all right. As long as we get the car home in, well, one piece, one major piece, we'll be fine. And unlike last year, we have not been lapped. On lap 39, the race is over. Stoffel Van Dorn, of all people, will win the Grand Prix as we lead home Lewis Hamilton, who's stuck behind us for seven. Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. So strategy trickery today has worked in our favor at Monaco. So we have uh, you know, a successful points finish, and as a result, we've ended up with a very strange podium. Haas has a double podium for the first time in its history, and McLaren are on the podium, not only on the podium, but are winners for the first time, I think since 2013, when uh, I think Jensen Button had a win. Though I could be, that could be 2012 actually, as far back as that. But uh, that's a pretty good race for us compared to, you know, what I had last season especially. We've continued our uh, objectives of beating our performance in the previous season's race. But um, eh, it still could have been better, I think. Still need to get some pace in myself and into the car. Lance Stroll showing the potential of the car a little bit. He moved up from uh, pretty much dead last on the grid to 12th, so that's quite good for him. But that's a very difficult race done with for us. Up next will be the Canadian Grand Prix, the scene of our best finish last year. That's going to be a difficult one to match, but thank you for watching. Hope to see you then, and have a nice day.